Welcome back to Double Crossed. Only cowards hide, so I think I think that mechanist did see me come down here, or maybe they heard the doorbell here. Um, don't think they're gonna find me. Let's see what's in the laundry. Noisy tile floor, noisy metal staircase. Is this just going to be another way into that same underwater passage? It does kind of look like it, doesn't it? Hello, what's here in the corner behind those sheets? A lockbox. Any money? A little. Cool, alright. I kind of want to jump in there to see where it goes, but... <laughs> get stuck again and not able to get out right i'm just gonna get washed down and have to go around again and that's not what i want to do right now so I just leave the door open and I just, <laughs> the bell doesn't ring all the time oh i know this i was gonna say i know this place no i don't yes that's the building is a roof i came in on right the bank is just over that way because i looked down at this alley That's the rich man's place. So how do we get back? Oh. oh that was just... That was a surprise. I don't want to be here. the drunk guy at the docks. How do I get back to that part of town? I, mean, I guess I can go by the warehouse again. Probably what I need to do. It doesn't seem to be any actual way. It doesn't seem to be any actual path by which the two parts of town connect, which is odd. This way. <laughs> they saw me again, that's okay. The builder will guide me to the No he won't. No he won't. Right, I'm in close the wall here. Alright, we've got the key to the mall, so we can we can check out the mall now. more key, but this isn't really an openable door. I'm not opening this. Well, why not? I've got a key. What's wrong with you, Garrett? Am I not supposed to be coming this way? What am I supposed to do when I've got the keys to the place, but the door doesn't... is not interactable? This mission is very confusing. Can't get back over the wall. Maybe that's a back door I'm supposed to use? Because that's the mall. I didn't realize that's a mall building. Well, let's reload from before I jump down. Oh no, that. No, no. Dang, my save was from after I jumped down. Uh, can I get over the roof? I mean, the key's not going to be for that door up in there, right? <laughs>
Well, that's not the way we get in. Alright. You can climb out your front as well. Is this, is this even possible? Am I just... It's got a weird underhang which makes it seem difficult, unlikely. So maybe this is not what I should do and maybe I should need to go all the way around again. Yeah. That's not working. Go all the way around again. Yeah. I don't want to go all the way around again. Could I jump to the mall from here? No. Mall roof? No. I don't think so. Could I go on the roof of this building? I mean, maybe. It's surely not what I'm supposed to be doing. I can try it. Even if I'm not supposed to be doing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not supposed to be doing that. That's a slidey roof. Uh, Alright then, I guess um, we're going the long way because I saved in the wrong place. Booey. I don't understand why. The... Let me get behind this guy. Over a metal platform again. <laughs> and a very awkward mantle there, which almost failed because I kind of got stuck with the two spears on my body. Oh. Uh, the wrong part of the ledge. I had to let go of space and press it again to actually get that mantle to work, which is very weird. I know we're going to make noise here again, unfortunately. Don't think there's anybody to hear. I mean, there's people in the bank, but I you know, don't care. I don't care if they hear. Okay, yeah, that's a little alley, isn't it? Well, I guess I can just get down here. Wasn't such a great idea, was it? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> round and round and round we go. This is the mall. There isn't a door on this side either. So this is the mall building as well. Not open all the way. Where's this? Ah, oh, maybe this. Should I go down here? Right, I bet this is the. Oh, this is pickable. This isn't the mall key, right? Huh. So I could have Let's uh, duck aside and wait for this little <laughs> chat to finish. Right, shift again, eh, Mark? You piss off the master banker or what? Nah, I'd rather the night watch. It's quiet, and I don't have to bow and scrape to the customers. Let me carry your heavy, heavy gold for you, matey fat bottom. <laughs> Here, let me take some of that nasty, heavy stuff off your hands, <laughs> Dr. Swink. Yeah, and see the bosses aren't around to listen to us talking at night, either. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I actually liked what that third guy had to add to the conversation there. Very astute. Okay, so I could have come here a lot sooner. What is that on the bed? Uh, what is this here? Notice, the security firm must ensure that no unauthorized persons can access the building complex outside normal working hours. 
There have been several cases of self-service by security personnel in the past, so from now on the keys will be held by the mechanists who sell their protein stuff here. Since they are reliable and punctual, it befits them to take charge of the keys. The security company. Yes, put your damned helmets on. Do you take them for soup bowls? Oh, it's a helmet. I see. That's a valuable helmet. Or a valuable soup bowl. Well, I will not say no to another healing potion since I just broke my legs. Alright. Yeah, they don't have the helmets on, so uh, they can be knocked out. No, that, that works. That's fine by me. Hello? Are you Cappy? Maybe he's testing me. Jeez. Yeah, he's testing you. You passed! Good work. You failed to detect Garrett, which is good, because Garrett needs to be the master thief undetected. Keep out. Authorized personnel only be on this point. Oh god, that's a noisy floor. Are you wearing a helmet? I don't think so. Again, the brightness, like this area is so damn bright, but it's pitch black in terms of visibility. It's confusing as hell. I mean, you don't have a helmet, that's clear. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> Get the shit out of me, man. Maybe just seeing my own shadow. Oh. I knew something was there. Just like I know now that it's gone. Ugh. Oh, that gave me such a bright. He's running to the bathroom. That's funny. Alright, we need the more keys here, right? So we wouldn't have been able to do very much without the more keys. That's fair. Blowy mushroom shop. Oh, more moss. I will not say no to that. <laughs> Ouch! Damn, spiky cactus. That's funny, I like that. That guy who leans in to get the gold and... Is there anything else in the toilet here? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's not hang around there in case he decides to... He needs to run again. Where's some wall keys? This place looks like an inventor's shop. There's probably a valuable gadget or two around here. Floating slope potion? Holy water, speed potion, breath potion, luminous mixture. Huh. I don't know what that's for. I don't know what the others are all for. After all, I was so proud of my invention, a luminescent liquid extracted from light mushes. Once filled on the floor, it lights up the surroundings, and after a short while it evaporates, leaving no residue. But I dare say nobody will buy it now that LTS has invented light flares and placed them on the market. All my efforts have been in vain. Yes. I mean, I can Im imagine that uh, there's a big market for uh, spillable lights. What have we got here? Valuables. Bad wine. Good stuff. Hmm. Well, that candlestick's worth a few pennies. That cheese will fill a hole. Ugh, I hate creepy noises. Alright, that's the end of this hallway. <clears throat> There's a lot more around the noisy floor. I'm not not stoked about that. Lose any more hit points. 
in crates. Oh, he's coming back. Why don't we just wait for him to go? Oh, more keys again. Valuable trophies and things. Well, one hiding in the corner. We've got the armorers. Gas arrow, gas mine. All right, that's two gas mines we've got. That's good. Noise maker, small broadheads. And a water arrow in the bucket. That'll all be useful, I'm sure. Alright, let's check out this bathroom. Probably nothing in it, but you never know. Seems clear. Alright, and downstairs we go again. Just the time. Brighter in here and much noisier. It's not my favorite place. I should be able to find something in here. Why not, huh? This is what passes for art these days. Whew. Now that's what we're talking about. Paintings. This is the skull sitting on a book collection, I see. Hmm. I should be able to find something in here, says Garrett, and yet, and yet. Ah, there's something down behind there. Where's all the light coming from? Is there really that much light from the sky? Don't blame me for not wearing helmets, it's pretty uncomfortable. Hmm, cake. I have to make do with bread. So I hit the spot. What's there? Haircut of the month. <coughs> the barbers. The mechanists have a shop here selling their... What was it? I forget what it's called. Nutriprof. Well, some silver scissors and a small stack of coins. Not a complete waste of time. We can get the front doors the walls open. Okay, that... Maybe helps. As long as this guy doesn't see it, think it's suspicious. You never know. Oh, is this already unlocked? Oh, it's empty this way. Alright, fair enough. I wonder if there's anything in the fountain. 
I'm not going to get a better chance to see them now, am I? Jeez, you walked right into me. Don't see any coins in there. All right. Let's check out this shop. This is the magnet shop. It is. Nutri Pro, I forget what it's called. It comes in multiple colors, that's nice. Is there really nothing else in here? Oh, that's an, that's an awfully suspicious picture of Karis. You're not hiding it. Oh, you're hiding some money under the desk. She's not going to switch or something that moves it and reveals anything. I mean, I don't know why I'm coming to the mall. anything. Modern day people buy Mechaprot. That's what it's called. Mechaprot. Sitting <coughs> in this garden. I'm surprised the mechanists allow a garden like this in front of their shop. Like, they would have surely insisted on it being removed and replaced with a metal statue or something. Something more fitting. But I guess not. Alright. I love a good bookshop, but... Hello. Maybe some five first editions here worth worth flogging. <laughs> just the one. It does look like just the one. And they don't have much cash on hand either, apparently. Or they're too smart to leave it in there. Well. is rather annoying because I still have no clue how to go about the damn objectives. I know what kind of business but damn. Uh, Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to act on a piece of information I unfortunately read. I don't know if it's the right time to. There's, there's, I'm supposed to have found something that's supposed to lead me to something, I'm sure. I don't think I'm just supposed to scout the... Well, I don't know. Maybe I am supposed to just scout the map to I find. There's a bunch of incriminating information. I found none of it. Um, I know of it because of reading the thread while I was stuck trying to find a way out of the place where it was ironically just, just a doorway to go through. Um, but I did hear about some other hidden stuff, so I'm gonna go, since we're in this part of town... Oh, I turned the lights off, so that's nice. I'm not opening this. What do you mean, Garrett? It's open already. Okay. So. A couple of things I could do. One, I could go find... <coughs> Bankman. I think he might have some incriminating information. He was definitely in on the job, right? Two. What was the... What was Garrett saying? You know, time to get you out of here, old man. About this guy. Nothing happened. 
He's just sitting there. Oh, he can leave his cell door unlocked. I can't interact with these cells at all, can I? Only the empty ones. Leave that place unlocked, shall we? Um, nothing written there. I think I need to be upstairs. Sure, I read this right. I've just forgotten. Yeah, just complaining about Benny. Benny getting all up. That just takes me to the roof. And there's a. Not just the roof. That's right. That door goes to the roof, I think. Alright, that's the way back out. Okay, no, that's not good. If there was anything here, it's surely in that office. Which was... Or this office? Hello, did I cut this down? Right, maybe there's a switch hidden in here that I haven't found yet. Like that. Okay. What does this say? Nothing but unimportant entries in Chief Doyle's records, imprisonment of hustlers, his orders, and medals. If anyone dare pick their nose in this sick town, they'd be thrown in jail, but off the bank heist, no sign of any investigation. Isn't that strange? Loot share. Hmm. I'd say this is one of the people who uh, was in on the business. There's nothing about objectives, nothing objective related about it though, so... I mean, they were suspicious as soon as they told the guys to not catch me at the start and let me go on, you know, let me... Let me go. Alright, go back to the other part of town. Which I think is still easier to do this way than go through the mall. Even with the uh, question. Well, if you're gonna make that much noise, then why don't you just come out? With the questionable mantle. All right, where are you? I don't know where they're running to. Okay, now, that way got me hurt, so let's go this way. <laughs> Alright, I couldn't, uh... Right, so this was the apartments, right? It wasn't one rich man's place, it's a building with multiple apartments, and the top one was was the bank manager.
Well, that kind of explains to me why, uh... What the hell? Come on. What are you doing in here? Did he hear me jump into the yard and decide that was where he wanted to go search? Oh, it's fine. You can sit there. So, this is the... Oh, this is the apartment that isn't, uh... That's unlocked by that's vacant. Right. Well, that kind of explains why the communal lights only turn on for a little bit and then turn off again. Because, you know, you wouldn't waste money on the communal lighting, would you? That's just a code hook. So this is Bank Manager Lemon, right? Lemon, Lemon. So these two doors that don't open. Surely he's got something else going on. Let's have a look on top of his bookcases. <sighs> uh huh. Bank Director Lemon's diary. Garrett reads only the last few pages to learn who might have double crossed him. How can I ever hope to settle my enormous gambling debt? Not by helping myself to the bank deposits, that's for sure. I'd soon come under suspicion, given that my accountant spends more time in the bank than he does in his rooftop flat. Like me, Chief Doyle suffers from a gambling addiction and has debts, but he's not surrounded all day by tempting amounts of gold. The most he can do is siphon off petty cash from pickpockets and fences. Perhaps he can come up with some useful ideas. A nice chat over a fine wine does buy the imagination. Doyle is a real genius. A prearranged bank robbery would provide cover for a withdrawal on our part. The burglar would go away empty-handed, but would garner all suspicion. Oh yes, that is truly a great plan. Doyle knows of a suitable candidate, a lone wolf who always goes unnoticed and who has got away with many difficult jobs. Some kind of master thief. What's more, when he's caught, our chief could boast of having put a notorious criminal behind bars. A mysterious third man joined our conversation. He was taciturn with an odd face made of wax. I thought Doyle had invited him, and vice versa. Strange, he just appeared. Anyway, he'll be the go-between who'll deliver our proposal to the thief. If he shows interest, we'll have the green light for our venture. Hurrah! He rose to the bait and will do it, which means payday has finally arrived. Doyle and I took 9,000 in gold and we split the profits. Hopefully my accountant won't notice that the money went missing before the break-in. But even if he does, how could he prove it? As it happens, there was a witness. That well-known drunkard Mario saw it all. But nobody believes him. Doyle had him put away, just to be sure. Our discreet casino manager must have spies everywhere, or did Waxface tip him off? Anyway, he was in the picture and immediately collected Doyle's debt as well as my own. So a big part of the loot goes directly to that grasping pig. Tonight we will wait for this Gerald, or whatever his name is, to show up, expecting to make a big haul. I'll arrange it so that my guards and robots won't catch him in the act, as that would be fatal for us. Oh, how I'd love to see his stupefied face after he opens the steel reinforced door. Everything went according to plan. Our unsuspecting villain couldn't overcome his greed. Clearly the thought of rich pickings was too much for him. The zealous Doyle has launched a large-scale manhunt. Even the mechan mechanists, who always fight on the side of the good, got involved. But oddly enough, only their women took part. When we catch the crook empty-handed, of course, everyone will think he must have hidden the loot. Even so, neither carrot nor stick will serve to make him reveal its location. I can't help feeling sorry for the poor imbecile. Along with my brother, I'll soon be opening a new bank banking enterprise. Lemon Brothers Bank. Now that sounds trustworthy. You are a bastard. Well, there's your share of the loot. Well, my share now. Okay. Didn't get any objectives tipped off. So we got found Doyle's share. Uh, if we hadn't, if I hadn't gone and searched there, I would have had to go and search again now, since the diary clearly implicated Doyle. But uh, he was suspicious. Um, Waxman, we know where Waxman is. I just didn't find his loot. I guess. Uh, we still need to find out what the mechanists are up to. Okay. I think we're done in this apartment now. We can just go out the front door, of course. The other thing I remember is, remember how I said we we're going to go get the warehouse, uh... 
Now we have the key to the warehouse loot, and I didn't go to the warehouse. <laughs> we can resolve that now. Is this after I got the second loot share? Okay, right. Climb! Where's my loot? Yes, this is after we've robbed Lemon. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go up and tell him. No more guard duty. Six and a half a year is my guard duty. I'm gonna put my finger up and say, uh, Sure, how she saw me. I guess she's on high alert. <clears throat> Fine. Problem solved. Let's get back up in here now. I guess that works. Where was the thing? I thought it was on this floor. Was it a door? Oh, was this was this hatch? Okay, harbor warehouse. I should be careful in. Ah! There are what was likely that? A few traps around. What's that? You're saying about traps, Garrett? <laughs> What's that? You're saying about traps? I should be careful in here, right? Boom. I'm dead. Maybe there's a few traps around as well. That's funny. Very silly, but it's funny. To it a little more safely. Okay. We're gonna need that again. Right. Now, Garrett, you're saying something about traps? I should be careful in here. There are likely a few traps around. Okay, but what do I do? How do I deal with the traps? It just explodes the moment I stick my head through there. There's no sign of a tripwire or anything. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I don't have a fire arrow. Oh, I guess I've got flares. Do I? Yes. I've tried tossing a flare up there and setting things off. That worked. <laughs> Don't know how the guys who were trying to come in here were supposed to getting in here, but uh oh. all right, that's the last one. <laughs> um, this is the window that looks over there, right? So you can definitely see that there's room here. That's the idea anyway. No nothing incriminating, nothing written. 
Wait, where's Waxman? Waxface Man runs the gambling place. Right, that's how he knew what was going on. And it was uh, he. Some someone was naming him with T. <laughs> they hid their share of the loot in here. Right, let's try the jump again. No, not, not that jump, Garrett. I don't know how you decided to mantle that thing. Can you actually get on it? Oh, okay. Can you get on this? No. But can you get on the roof? Probably not. You absolutely can. Slightly there. Which means you can't jump off it. Ah, it's quiet. Well, let's see how much speed we can get. Nice. All right, from here we should be able to make the jump to the water pretty easily. Let's go past old drunk man here. Dropped your bottle, man. Who goes there? No. Okay. We got the promised loot, but we don't know who's behind it all. Uh, we don't know what the mechanism's up to, and we have got a lot less than we need. Well, I don't know how much less. Yeah, yeah and I still need 900. From somewhere. I have no idea where. Um, what do we do now? Where, where the hell do we go now? I have no idea. I can try jumping in here. I haven't tried it yet, so let's see where it goes. It's at least something to try. Oh, is this just... Right, we know where this is. This is the mechanist's place. Or something. We've been here before. I think. Maybe not. Oh yeah, this is just coming out. No, that's, that's the... Uh, that's just in the pathway. This is the... Botanic Gardens here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who went in that house? Wherever it is, whatever it was. All right, the furniture. The furniture dealers. Where do we go now? We can go back into the mechanist, see if we can find anything going on, I guess. Do I have an actual mine or was it gas to gas mine? Gas mine, flash mine. Oh, they're looking away now. <coughs> Let's avoid them, cause Comrade Dracula. Yeah, you're right. They did give you. They did give you weird names. What's this down here? Oh, just a bit of grass, right? So we can get in either of these. I went in the other one before, let's go in this one this time.
Can't pick this lock, right? No. But do I have a key that will work for it? I do not know. Or rather, I do know I don't have a key. City Watch Key, Botanic Gardens, more keys. It's not going to be any of them. Yeah, we'll just try them just on the off chance, but. So now what? Maybe I need to share, search those upstairs rooms a bit more carefully. Wait a minute. Oh, they heard something. Now I remember being in somewhere where I looked down and saw the golden child. That's the room with the golden... Is that, was that, did I find that from up here? Was that, no, that was from in the conference room, wasn't it? Why am I bothered about this guy? What's he gonna do if he if he sees me even? Wait, did I go this way? I don't remember going this way. Maybe I forgot that this path existed. Yeah, okay, that's where I needed to go. <laughs> Right, this duct. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know what I need to do. So they got weapons? Alright, well, they could damage me. Alright, let's find out what these mechanisms are up to with their corpse disposal. Sure, it's nothing suspicious whatsoever. Let's not push the button yet. Can't open that. Uh, 
Can I climb on it and take a look inside? I probably don't want to go swimming in that. It doesn't, doesn't look too healthy. Mecha pro production. Buttons to choose the color of Mecha Prop. Modern day people buy Mecha Props. Was this the door that I couldn't unlock? Right. There's gotta be a key for it, right? Well, I guess it doesn't have to be. I guess we push the button. Garrett. Ah, there's a sign. Warning, allowest thou one of the builder's children to start this machine, thy paltry flesh may not withstand the searing pains. Appreciate it. I see. That's that's bringing the dead in. All right. Now can we do this? A weird contraption. Let's see what these controls do. that hungry and it will mix us up too okay to making mega props oh this thing is spinning around and around now okay Good to know. <laughs> Alright, so now we can leave here. I think we've done all we can here. <laughs> you just stuck there or what? from the ghost train. This is the way out. Yeah, okay. Well, I do have a breath potion now, so I guess if it looks like I'm about to drown, I can uh, use that. Ah, this is, this is the. I don't know which place that is. But it doesn't matter. I can get out this one. Okay. Should 
Should probably knock you on the head too. Just for keeping the streets clean of free of free of mechanists and their uh, terrible food. So is this the furniture shop? Yes. Right, yeah, I've been in there now. So, what's left? Uh, lots of money. And find out who's behind it. I mean... It was Lemon, right? He said he... He came up with the idea. So why did that not count? I mean, I know, unfortunately, from reading the thread, why it does not count, but I do not understand from the sake, from the mission's point of view why it does not count. Also, how do I get back? Uh, oh. Is that wood? Maybe? Yes. So that's another thing that reading this thread is told me. Someone said, you know, look out opposite the mechanist's place for a flower box. Which was not clear that it was going to be in this end. Uh, I would never have found that on my own. It's just basically invisible. The other night, while working overtime at the bank, I overheard a loud conversation between three men. They were hatching a diabolical plan to steal all the deposits and pin it on an unsuspecting thief named Garrett. Below me, one of the voices belonged to my boss, Lemon, and another also sounded familiar. Those buckets might try to cast suspicion on me, the accountant. I don't want the gendarmes throwing me into jail for something I didn't do, nor do I care to fall into Garrett's hands, as he would certainly grill me about the robbery. I'd better get out of here and start a new life somewhere else. What? That tells me who's behind all this, not Lemon's Diary? Okay. Let's get a keeper rug. Um. That's it? Nothing else in here? Just that? Ow. Where am I going to find all the rest of the money? I'm somewhere like 900 short. Where the hell am I going to find all the rest of the money? <sighs> I need to come get back down again, aren't I? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to leave one of these here. I could retrieve the one from the bank if I really, really feel like I need it. Where the hell do I find all the loot? I don't know. They come back all this way. <laughs> no, they turn the corner. All right, that's the dock side one. You know what? <laughs> Make it a Mechanist's key, okay. If I noticed that key a long time ago, I could have made uh, progress, I suppose. I could find the mechanists again, I don't remember where their place is. There it is. So that's the key I needed to get in the front doors here. Well, not the key I needed for the front doors, but...
There's a key for that door that I was missing. Nothing here. I don't really need to come this way anymore, but now that I have a key, I might as well make sure I'm not missing any other opportunities for loot. It might be walking over metal is noisy. I have to be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There might be some more loot opportunities. Certainly haven't been in this room before. All right, this is the other side of the golden gear, right? And it's a fake. And there's the door I couldn't unlock. Right, this, there were two doors I couldn't unlock. So this is going to tell me about the production. Right, yep. Cool. And then this is this door. I think it's decided to stop patrolling, I guess. And then we have... Oh. What's going on down here? Hmm. Can I do this? How rude. Oh, this is where they left all the mechanist men. Is there We not. No, you can't smell. Been a creepsy sneak through here. Hmm. Uh. Okay, well, all the noise has stopped. I can't just body. Did these guys get names? No. Okay, so apart from that golden gear, nothing else down here. <laughs> That's pretty funny though. I'm gonna say which is the quickest way out and now I'm just gonna go out the front doors. the machine in there okay so now what loot lots of loot all right well I am going to end the episode here having uh, laughed in the face of mechas monsters man I gotta try right can I get down there myself no okay <laughs> There's a conveyor belt down there, though. Oh, now I wish I had the scanning orb, you know. Put the scanning orb on there. I don't know if the scanning orb gets... That would be really good, though. 
would be really good. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, and uh, when I come back, I will have some idea where the rest of the loot is to be found. So, um, I'll see you then.